Trevor House of Central Florida provides a safe shelter as well as services for domestic violence survivors. Those survivors aren't just adults, there's also dating violence among teens. Harbor House knows that the best way to prevent teen dating violence is by educating both teens and their parents. I recently sat down with the Harbor House CEO on how they're getting results. It's not something that is normally a talk around the table. You guys are trying to bring awareness to it, but also bring awareness to preventing it and prevention. So can you kind of break us down what teen dating violence even looks like? Absolutely, and thanks for having me. And I would say that teen dating violence awareness is something that we're doing a lot of work with teens and also our age groups, basically 11 to 17 year olds. And we're doing work with kids in after school programs in addition to high school and then also different leadership academies. And our goal is really to teach youth about healthy relationships. And we're talking about all different types of relationships when we're talking about prevention. We're talking about, is your friendship with your friend a healthy relationship? And we go into those conversations first before we even start talking about a dating relationship. Because if you can't identify a friendship as healthy, how are you gonna identify that a dating relationship is healthy? Is there one area you see hit the hardest? When we're working with the after school programs, it's in primarily the Paramore area. And that's where we're seeing that our girls who are working with are coming forward and they're saying, you know, I'm seeing this with my sister. This is something that I'm seeing. Um, this is something that I've experienced. And so not only are we talking about healthy relationships there, we're also talking about um, really working with social issues and we're talking about racial issues with them as well. You, when, when you talk about teen dating violence, you, you know, you always think of the physical violence, but there's all different versions of, of what violent uh, situations can be. Can you kind of dive more into that? A lot of times we see um, destruction of personal property. So we'll have somebody who um, destroys a school bag, destroys someone's car, um, slashes tires. Um, stalking is another thing that we see within teen dating violence situations. And we'll see stalking as far as electronic stalking in addition to physical stalking. And so, as you mentioned, it's not just the physical violence. There's gonna be those other pieces, which might be emotional abuse, there might be that psychological abuse, um, financial abuse as well, mm -hmm. and um, really breaking down of someone's self-esteem so that they really think that this is the, they don't deserve any better than this relationship. Some other things that you might be seeing are would be jealousy, um, extreme jealousy, um, really making sure that the partner, the dating partner knows where the other person is at all times with um, having tracking being on their phone or constantly asking someone to share their contact information or share their location. And so those are the things that we see in domestic violence, but we see them in a different way when it comes to dating violence. But you don't help just the kids. You need, you need parental uh, consent, basically. So how is Harbor House helping? How, how, how can you know, they find you and find information and support through Harbor House? So the easiest way for someone to reach out to us is going to be with our crisis hotline or going to our website or going anywhere on social media. If someone needs to um, get services and they want to have referrals to possibly a, a therapist or they want to file an injunction on behalf of a minor child, those are things that we can help with. But we want to do that with the family unit. We wouldn't be doing it just with the minor child. And Michelle says Harbor House is starting a workshop this spring that's focused on teen dating violence. They'll be working with parents to help them recognize the signs of a violent teen relationship. But it's so important because it's a yeah. cycle that sometimes starts that early in someone's life. And you need those tools early on mm -hmm. so that you can have healthy relationships and friendships. Yeah, when she said they start at age 11, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, my heart. But, you know, it's never, it's never too early to start those conversations. So they are always doing good work in our community.